Headline news for Wednesday, January 12th from the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com. Peter Katz reporting. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported this morning that inflation in 2021 hit 7%, with the consumer price index increasing half a percent in December. That was down slightly from November's 0.8% increase. Food, shelter, cars, and trucks were the largest contributors to price increases. The energy index declined in December, ending a long series of increases. It fell 0.4% as the indices for gasoline and natural gas both decreased. The national average cost for car insurance is $1,529, up 3% over last year's reduced rates from the COVID-19 pandemic, according to the 2022 State of Auto Insurance Report published by the Zebra, an online insurance comparison site. Since 2011, rates have increased 28% nationally. In Connecticut, the average annual rate for auto insurance is $1,551. In New York, it's $1,600. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating yesterday's crash of a Eurocopter EC-135 helicopter in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. All four occupants of the medical helicopter, including an infant, survived the crash. The real estate brokerage Houlihan Lawrence reports home sales in Westchester were up 10.4% for 2021, while Putnam was up 8% and Dutchess was up 2.7%. After increasing criticism, the new mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, has decided not to install his brother Bernard as a deputy police commissioner. Instead, Bernard Adams has been named executive director of mayoral security. The job pays $210,000 a year. Defeated former President Donald Trump hung up during a telephone interview with National Public Radio when the interviewer pressed him about his unproven claims of voter fraud and the election being stolen from him. MSNBC's Rachel Maddow reported last night that Republicans in five states, won by Biden, submitted to Congress and the National Archive forged documents, saying voters in those states chose Trump electors. Stay in touch with the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com.